power of analysis again is proven and Dow Jones and Nasdaq in fact has achieved 12,260 and 30, close to 34,950 levels with the CPI data. Now if you recall since last two weeks I had told multiple times that Dow Jones I will not consider bearish till the time it trades above 33,400 levels and Nasdaq 100 11,400 levels. Precisely both tried to breach these levels and since then has seen a good bounce back. I hope you all profited. Now what to expect today? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. First we'll look into Nasdaq 100 followed with Dow Jones. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Do trade as per the levels and do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon because the next update will be released before the US cash session. Let's start first with Nasdaq 100 here. The Nasdaq 100 if you just ignore this breakout because see the bullish candle entire gains are reversed and it has come back to the same levels now see this is the channel in which it tried to trade it has come back to the same levels it is looking forward to 11.920 as the good resistance zone if it breaks past this then again a round of bullishness can be seen but if you ignore this noise you can see it is precisely trying to trade in this channel the support there on the downside now it's going to be at around 11. 820 and the resistance on the upside at allowed 11 920 so do not trade for these 100 points now see this direction movement moderately bullish stochastic on the hourly charts is again overbought the MACD is bearish here and it is trying to converge RSI is trading flat and if you look at the 2 hour chart similarly on the 2 hour chart this is the bullish channel in which it is trying to trade there was a noise this is eliminated now it is looking upwards so as I said in between 11, 8, 20, 9, 20, do not trade and remember once it drops below 11, 7, 60 and 11, 7, 10 then you can look forward to that it may drop for 600 and below levels so I will be looking forward to a breakout one breakout on the upside is done but remember every candle has a meaning yes the Fed's interest rate hike decision and the comments thereafter are going to be the important driving factors Directional movement bullish, stochastic rising from the oversold zone, the MACD is in green, the RSI is also trading with little bullish bias here on the 2 hour charts and if you look at the 3 hour charts. Now look at the 3 hour charts closely see the candle size is certainly diminished, lower highs are seen, yes you can buy at 11.880, expect 11.920 and then beyond that 970, 12,000 levels to be seen. At the same time on the downside see multiple candles getting the support here. Yes, you can sell here at 11,820 but then expect 11,760 then 11,710, 700 first support and then below that 11,660, 600 levels to be seen. Directional movement moderately bullish, stock high stick trading at bottom, the MACD bullish, the RSI looking upwards and if you look at the 4R, now look at the 4R charts, yes as I said the possibility for it to achieve 11,920 exists and beyond that we may see it hitting 970 12,000 levels again now also on the 4 hour charts another observation is it is trying to trade in this bullish channel yes the support there on the downside from 11 7 87, 60 is going to remain strong yes you can sell at 11 8 20 till the time it trades below 11 8 20 i will not recommend you to sell nasdaq 100 below that till 11 600 it has got very strong support on the upside once it trades beyond 11 920 more bullishness or 950 970 12000 and beyond that it is going to fly high similar observation nothing different direction movement bullish stochastic looking downward the MACD is in green it is trading divergent and bullish the RSI is also looking upwards and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts now see look at the daily charts and this time it tried to breach past the highs of this channel the lows certainly 11,400, 500 are very strong support levels. Now with that as support it is given an expanding move and how far this can rise it can it has the potential for it to rise till towards 12,400, 500 and then a breakout also can be expected. Now if you look at the movement since passed after this bullish breakout it is trying to trade across this and if you consider the movement you can see this is trying to trade in this around 11850 as the pivot plus minus 400 we have seen and it is trying to trade in this channel and hence it has to give a breakout yes it is trying to trade on the first half of it possibly we may see the highs again before it looks over to any drop or a breakout and on the downside 11500 400 are certainly a very strong support look at the directional movement bullish stochastic looking upwards the MACD 
is trying to converge again crossover for the buys and the RSI is looking upwards considering this for the day first another observation see the candle size of the previous candle was less than half from the complete movement however now it is taken the support and trying to rise possibility exists that it can come back till towards 12,000 levels yes and hence do not trade between 11 820 11 920 below 820 you have to be cautious and alert till 11 600 and then below that a little more bearishness might stretch till towards 11 450 400 but still i will not recommend you to sell till the time it or i will not recommend you to consider this as bearish till the time it trades above 11 400 and hence you have to trade with the trailing stop loss till then if you are taking a short end rate 11 8 20 levels on the upside 11 9 20 certainly be a good good long entry beyond that 950 970 12000 are the targets and beyond 12000 more bullishness might take it for 12 120 180 240 levels take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trading stop loss now let's have a look at dow see us 30 if you ignore the noise it is just trying to trade in this channel this was the bullish noise this was the bearish noise on the downside though a little less but however it is trying to trade in this channel on the upside beyond 34 200 or rather i will say 34 300 you can expect another round of good rise which might take it for 34 3 450 34 500 levels on the downside the support levels are going to come into picture at 34 100 till the time it trades above 34 100 i will not recommend you to sell dow jones directional moment bullish stochastic is certainly overbought which might see a cooling there the MACD is bullish trying to converge bearish it is trying to converge for a bullish move sorry the RSI is sloping upwards and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts similar is the observation however look at this 34 200 was a good resistance level it is trying to breathe these levels and certainly we are looking forward to a highs first thing is that it can try to achieve 34 uh, 350 400 th see 34 400 is a very good resistance level then 34 600 the next resistance level directional movement moderately bullish stochastic rising from the oversold zone the MACD is in green however it's still trading it, it is trying to cross over it is not just crossed over for the bearish move though RSI is looking upwards indicating little strength and if you look at the 3 hour chart similarly it is trading above 34 200 which is definitely a very good support for now and below that 34 100 level so only sell entry i will recommend is below 34 200 very nearby till the time it trades above 34 200 you can expect little more bullishness directional movement bullish stochastic trading oversold the MACD is in green trying to convert the rsi is looking upwards and if you look at the four hour chart now look at the four hour chart see this is a breakout candle this is looking upwards possibility that 34 300 might be seen and then in fact 34 400 might be seen so till the time it trades above 34 100 there is a possibility that it may trade bullish only uh, and yes you can though enjoy the sells at 20 34 200 but then expect 34 160 34 100 as the major support only below 34 100 you can see little bearishness for 34,000 and then 33,900 800 levels directional movement bullish stock ISTIC at bottom MACD bullish RSI looking upwards and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here see it is trying to create a step here and possible take just till the time it trades above 34 100 we can see it continuing with the bullish momentum if not the previous highs lower highs or the same size of the previous candle now look at the previous candle was almost from 33 400 to 34 600 points and from 34 100 to you can see 34 700 levels can be seen cannot be denied those levels yes you can remain long till the time it trades above 34 200 in fact if it trades below 34 200 the target is 34 100 then 34,000 and below that 33,900, 800. Below 800 only it is going to show you bearishness till the time it trades about 33,800. The bullish, the bulls may sustain. Hence take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trailing stop loss. I will be looking forward to rise again. Possibility of it trading about 34, 400, 34, 500. In fact, 34, 600 also exists. Yes, you can remain long for 34, 200 levels. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.